Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of equations, specifically how we can write equations and use strip diagrams to find unknown quantities in these equations, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we have a sample problem here. Fernando, he's walking dogs during the summer to earn extra money. For three months of the summer, he took dogs on a total of 1,232 walks. That's a lot of dog walks. So we have 235 in June, we have 421 in July, and then the rest are in August. But take a look what it asks us to do at the very end. In fourth grade, we start looking at unknown quantities. These are called variables. Sometimes they're simply just called an unknown quantity. But we need to find W, and W represents the number of walks he took in August. So if we wanted to list uh, three months, we could say June. June is 235. And if we wanted to say July, it's going to be 421. August is what we're looking for. That's our missing variable, missing quantity. And that's simply represented by W. And that W is just going to be walks. So how can we figure that out? Well, let's see if we can uh, perhaps draw a strip diagram. Sometimes that helps me to visually see what's going on here. So I have a total of 1,000. 232. Those are all my walks put together. And they are in three months. The months are not exactly equal, but I'm just going to kind of cut those in thirds. So we'll just pretend they're equal. So we have 235. That's going to be in June. 421. That's going to be in July. And then this W is going to be August. That's going to be my unknown. So there's a few different ways I could do this. It looks like I could maybe combine these two. So I could say 235 plus 421. And if I figure what that out, what that's going to be, let's see, that is going to be 656. There's no regrouping necessary, so I can just add that side to side. And if I were to take that away from uh, 1,232, take that away, I'm going to get my answer. So let's see what that is first. That's going to be 6, that is going to be 7, and that's going to be 5. So it looks like 576. But you notice I wrote two different equations. I need to write one equation. So how can I solve this all in one equation? Well, another thought would be, what if I started with my total? 1,232. And if I took away my 235, and then I took away my 421, if I did two subtractions in a row, the only thing that would be left would be my W. So that's how we can write an equation. If we take our total and then we do subtraction twice to find what our missing number is, 576. And real quick, let's just double check to make sure we have the right answer. 235, 421. If I add my 576, I should come back up with my 1232. So let's make sure we're doing that. So that's 12. And that is 4, 6, 13. And that is 3, 7, 12. So there we go. So this is going to be my answer to this equation right here. Let's look at another example. So in our new problem, Brene and her sister are going to a birthday party. They're deciding ahead of time to equally share any candy. So equal shares, that means we're going to do some division here, with their younger sister who couldn't attend. So Brene gets 22, her sister gets 24, and they need to split that between themselves and their younger sister. So we're going to draw a strip diagram to show S. Our unknown now is the share that each sister got after splitting up their candy evenly, which is a very nice gesture. So we only have two chunks of candy. So I'm just going to draw those up right here. I'm going to say 24 and 22. I'm going to make the 24 just slightly bigger, just because I want to show proportionally how it's bigger. And then I've got three sisters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another bar underneath. This is going to be my strip diagram. And it's going to be the same length total, but I'm going to try to draw it exactly in three equal pieces. And those are going to be my S's. So those are my three shares. They're taking their 22 and 24, dividing them into three equal pieces.